Newton's Second Law of Motion Newton's Second Law explains about change in momentum. The rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the direction in which the force acts. Let a body of mass M moving with velocity U be subjected to force F acting in the direction of motion. Suppose V is velocity of body after time T. The total initial momentum of a body is mu and final momentum is mv after time t. So rate of change of momentum is equal to change in momentum upon time which equals mv minus mu upon t is equal to m into v minus u upon t which equals m a hence by newton's second law of motion rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to f that is m a is directly proportional to f so f is equal to k m a where k is equal to 1 a constant. In SL system, Newton is unit of force. 1 Newton, the force which causes a mass of 1 kg to move with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square is called 1 Newton force. 1 Newton is equal to 1 kg into 1 meter per second square. In CGS system, dyne is unit of force. 1 dyne, the force which causes a mass of 1 gram to move with an acceleration of 1 centimeter per second square is called 1 dyne force. 1 dyne is equal to 1 gram into 1 centimeter per second square.